All right, so I got a guy that's wanting to know how air ride and all that works. And I told him, well, hey, man, just look up YouTube. Well, I got to look at YouTube myself, and there's not really any videos that I could find that's not product-specific or uh, pretty much explains the components of air ride or how to plumb it together for those that are just wanting to get involved. So I'm going to do this, let better understanding for some people. All right basic components you have an air compressor uh, most setups have two if you want a fast recovery you have your main air tank you have solenoids also valves and then you have your air lines and then you have your bags all right so basically you have power coming from your battery and that power comes to these relays now the relays are for the pumps. So with my specific system, I have a switch in the truck to where it doesn't get energized unless the truck is running. And I have to flip the switch on to have power to both the solenoids and the relays for the pumps. So the way the system works, you have your pumps. So they come online, both of them. And they will fill your tank. This is a five-gallon tank. So how they know to shut off is a pressure switch. This pressure switch is 200 PSI. So until this tank reaches 200 PSI, this switch will keep these compressors running. That switch is wired to the relays. All right. So this is my pressure sending unit. This tells me how much pressure I have in my tank to engage in the truck. So once we have air in the tank via both of your compressors, you have switches in the truck. The switches are wired to your solenoids. Now I have my bags on independent solenoids and that's why there's eight of them. Now the only thing a solenoid do is open and close. So you can't really run one solenoid to fill the bag and release the bag on a regular tank setup. So in this setup, you have a solenoid here, a T, in a solenoid here. So, the tank's pressurized. This solenoid's always closed unless I hit the switch. When I hit the switch, this solenoid opens to this T. This goes to my front driver airbag right here. Now, this bag will stay inflated until I hit the switch for this solenoid. When I hit the switch for this solenoid, this one's still closed. Here's our T. I hit the switch for this solenoid, air comes out. From here this releases the air so for every bag you've got two solenoids a fill and a release now some guys run a T between the front two bags and the rear two bags it's cool because you have two switches for up and down but in a scenario where you've got a truck that like me I'm 280 and it's an extended cab it's a longer truck I want to be able to have independent control of each side because if I had a T and I aired it up well the driver's side's naturally going to sit lower because my weight's on that side so not only that going around corners and turns and things like that having a T between each side left and right allows your truck to lean very 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 bad lean going around corners so it's nice to have independent valving for every bag now as far as components go that covers that um, of course, you know, you have your bag on the suspension, air fills the bag, there is no valves on the bags, so your main function to keep air in the bags, to release air from the bags, and to put air into the bags relies on your solenoids. So, recap, compressors, fill your tank, pressure switch right down there, controls, when your compressors come on, when your compressor shut off, sending unit to tell your gauge in the truck so you know how much pressure you have built up in your tank. And of course you'll see along all four racks of my solenoids, I have sending units on each one for my gauges so I know how much pressure is in each bag. Four-link suspension, best travel for, um, you know, laying frame to locked up. Same thing on the front, you've got a bag in place of your coil spring i doubt you can see it with the truck laid down but 
you'll have a bag in there between your control arm and your frame where your coil spring used to be. And that's on both sides in the front. And the same thing back here. Um, you take away your leaf spring and then you four link. So then you have bags now that act as springs themselves to lift, lower, support weight, things of that nature. So I hope this under hope this uh, helps you understand how this stuff works. Uh, it's not complicated once you know what each individual part does and how it goes together. Um, again, like I said, you've got main power from the battery. Come back to your relays. From your relays, that main power goes to each compressor. The pressure switch turns the relays on and off to energize your compressors to fill your tank. Um, each solenoid is operated by a switch. You have a three-position rocker switch, center being off, up being on, down being on. So on the three-position rocker switch, obviously you push up, you're going to energize your first solenoid, goes to the T, fills your bag. You push down on your three-position rocker switch, it's going to be wired to your secondary solenoid, which is going to release air and let the truck, let the bag deflate, lower the truck down. But uh, hit me up. Any other questions you guys got? My uh, my setup is very uh, barbaric, so to say. Just enough to get the truck running or driving down the road. I'm in the middle of collecting parts to clean a lot of this stuff up. Get my fender wells in. Uh, get my 22s on the truck. Get a lot of this stuff covered so you can't see it. But uh, I have more videos. Y'all take it easy.